the galaxy is burning. Hello everyone, welcome to Lyceum. I'm your host Liam, aka Himbar, and today I am doing a spoiler free review for Christopher Rocchio's Ashes of Man, which is the fifth book in The Sun Eater. Now this review will be rather short, it will contain a few spoilers for the first four books. I have done reviews for all of those. Um, this book actually comes out in December, so I did receive an arc from Daw out of NetGalley, which um, was being rather generous, so if you want it, maybe you can go try there still. So anyways, this one is what was originally the second part of book four as kings of death and ashes of man were originally supposed to be one book um and so you might think there's a problem with pacing here but i think it's actually split in a rather good spot now this book is not is not as uh, much of a charnel house as um kings of death you actually start with some rather cathartic connections and then the spicy stuff starts right back in when chapter two so at this point, though, Hadrian is a thousand years old, essentially, or rather, it's been a thousand years since he was born on Delos. Um, he is closer to about 400 years um, as far as like, actual age goes. And, well, that's li been little more than 20 years since the Red Company was annihilated on the sales and capital world. And that has left Hadrian um, rather impotent. This is not... The triumphant sequel uh, many probably would want after the abattoir that was kingdoms of death um, but remember this was originally again the second part of that book and so while not an abattoir it is drab and hadrian is definitely traumatized he's also aged and experienced he is not the naive, naive youth or the unstoppable knight um, that he, he once was in things like empire of silence howling dark and demon of white um, but he must, again, once descend below to the underworld of sorts in this book. And this one is... <laughs> um, I, I put it in my review, so if you get this reference, that if Kings of Death is uh, the Garden of Gethsemane, this is um, Calvary. And so hopefully book six is more redemptive um, in a sort of resurrection. So this one is still is rather sad, and I, I can't talk much about it So um, because that would be spoilers. But we definitely do get more of the Seals in here. Um, uh, I would say a little less than we did in, the, in Games of Death, um, but still a decent amount. So if you like Seals and if you like scary aliens, then you should be happy here. Um, I think they actually only get more horrendous here, actually. Um, and so all that being said, I actually had a nightmare um, after reading this book. <laughs> About halfway through, there was something that really was disturbing um, and not like a gross, like, I gotta put this book down and never read it again but it's still full of really good stuff. In previous books, I've missed a lot of the references. Um, well, with the exception of like the Lord of the Rings ones, there's still plenty of Lord of the Rings references here. They're actually quite on the nose, um, <laughs> but uh, there's almost certainly references to video games and music that I'm not familiar with. Um, but overall, this is a fantastic book. All the praises I had for the first four books are still here. I think the worlds we see are interesting. Maybe if you really like big space opera awesome alien settings maybe you will dislike this one a little bit more since the setting is not as exotic um, as it has been in well most of the other books for that matter so that might be a little mark off for some people i don't think it is i think this is still one of the greatest series that i'm currently reading and we'll see how it ends um, as of right now it looks like book six will be the final one um it seems to have gone back and forth maybe book six will be split to book six and seven it kind of depends so could be six books could be seven books we shall see but as of right now ash is a man you should read it if for some reason you're listening to me right now and you haven't read empire of silence um get on it i generally don't like to overhype things i definitely don't not at all if you watch my channel follow along with um booktube darlings but this is one that is an exception because it is actually that good at least in my opinion. Um, so anyways, it's Malin Williams Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.